Let's dive into why Sage will likely betray Homelander in the show's fifth and last season. Like any finale episode of The Boys, the ending of season four came with several big twists. After finding out that Victoria Newman had been killed, Homelander is distraught that their plan is in disarray. Newman was supposed to be the public face of the superhero coup, the psycho who blew up Congress. However, as Homelander broods alone in his trash room, Sage walks in to congratulate him on their victory. Sage explains that she orchestrated Newman's death herself, got Singer to admit on video that he wanted Newman killed, and even installed Calhoun as president for Homelander to control from behind the scenes. From managing the info leaked by A-Train to accounting for Homelander messing with her actual plan, Sage is clearly punishing him for openly disagreeing with her. She said she could handle it, but clearly she can't. Sage manipulated the boys, the Seven, and the U.S. government just to put the country in Homelander's hands. So why, then, would Sage betray Homelander, especially now that she could actually do it? Although the subtext is completely lost on Homelander, Sage has already revealed that her only allegiance is to herself. Sage was an original creation for the show, but like any superhero in The Boys, she's a parody of an existing comic book character or trope. From the revelations in the season 4 finale, Sage seems to be a parody of egoistic villains like DC's Lex Luthor. Are you trying to intimidate me? I'm trying to educate you, says Sage. Like these villains, Sage is the smartest person on her planet, able to manipulate almost everyone to serve her grand plan. However, while Luthor sees himself as a hero, Sage is open about her self-serving intentions. As Sage told Homeland herself, she only helped him for fun and to prove that she could do it. Now that Homelander is in control of the U.S. government, Phase 2 of Sage's plan likely involves eliminating all existing threats, like Stan Edgar or Butcher. But what comes after that? This was so much fun. When nothing stands in Homelander's way, what's left to do for the smartest person on the planet? As fun as it was to put Homelander in power, Sage knows that the real fun is in taking it all away. While she reassured Homelander that everything was going according to plan, Sage simultaneously revealed her real intentions to the viewers, showcasing how egoistic villains perform monologues about their grand designs. Sage might even repeat the exact same lines when she finally pulls the plug on Homelander's martial law. From colluding with Stan Edgar to using Butcher or Soldier Boy, Sage has plenty of ways to betray Homelander in Season 5. Do you think Sage will betray Homelander in the end of the boys? Thanks for watching.